Hey everybody, this is Amy CQ from amycq.com, again with another video of my series. And today's topic is, you know your website is dominating when it doesn't use the same dang stock photos as everybody else. Uh. <laughs> if I see one more photo of a pair of hands holding dirt with a seedling in it, gonna throw up. And I'm sure you feel the same way about some other stock photos that are going on around the circuit. Right? We, we see them constantly. We see them to the point where they don't really mean anything anymore and they kind of become a joke. So, what can we do? If you are trying to get out there and be unique and be yourself, don't use generic stock photos. Now, there are some really good stock photos out there. So take the time, look through them. Don't pick the first one that comes up that they talk about or the most popular because guess what? Those are usually these ones. So <laughs> take a look, try some offbeat, off the path kind of stock photo sites and see what they have to offer. Now, some of them do get expensive, so you have to manage your budget. And, um, but again, it can be done. Just maybe look for the ones that are not so popular and use those. Or even better yet, take photos of you. Take photos either of you, if definitely if you are the face or the person of your business, as in solo businesses are, um, that's better. Don't use some generic person sitting at a desk all fragile, fraggled and, and, and worried. Again, who is that person? We don't know. It doesn't look like us and it doesn't look like you. So take a photo of yourself like that. At least it's something unique that can let your viewers in a little bit about you. You know that, hey, she's willing to take some photos of herself like that. It's, it's, it, it makes it interesting is what I'm trying to say. Um, another one, just keep your photo, keep your camera on you, take your own photo. So when you're out and about, you see a pretty good picture, just take it. Even take it with your iPhone as a print designer by education. That kind of makes me a little <laughs> worried sometimes because there are limits with taking photos from an iPhone. If you do want to use them in print, they're never high res enough. Um, to use large, but if if it's strictly web use that you're intending to use these photos go ahead use your iPhone uh, snap some pictures even if it's just Trees the sky something at least they're yours one. You don't have to pay To use them because they're yours copyrighted to you um, You know, they're not rights managed anything like that and they're probably going to be a little unique, even if it is something like the sky or trees. It's how you saw it and where you live, even, to give a little bit more background for your user into you. So, we take away from this, no more canned stock photos. Stop using them. They, I would rather you not use them than, uh, or anything at all, I should say, instead of using those very tired stock photos out there. So grab a camera, get out there, start shooting away, and use some of your own photos, especially photos with you in them. So that's all I have for today. And if you like this video, please like or share, comment in any comments where you find this video. And be sure to sign up for my newsletter if you want all these videos kind of wrapped up in a nice weekly email sent right to your inbox where and I will give you five bonus videos on top of my five weekly bon uh, weekly videos. You'll get a bonus video every week for the whole month and uh, handy dandy delivered to your inbox. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you again. Bye.